We gotta say hi to Mia. <gasps> Mia. Mila. 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 Sorry, Mila. Mila. It's early. My, my Mila Jovovich. Hi. How are you? Good. She's Thank adorable. You. Oh, this is always fun when all the publicists have to come into the studio. Oh, listen, you guys. Just to make sure nothing listen. crazy happens, right? Listen. Let me tell you how hey. awful we are. Whenever uh, pretty girls come in here, we clam up. We are incapable of that's right. speaking to <laughs> like well, pretty girls fun. that are guests on the show. We're days. terrible. That'll be great. Yeah, we'll, we'll. Those are some pretty hot pictures. Oh my <laughs> God! We should have covered those up. We no, did, but where did you get those? We didn't realize a, a lady was coming in today. We should have covered up our wall. You know, it's somebody I that she was a good girl now. Uh, well, that's when she was a bad girl. Oh yes. right, right. That's uh, Christina yeah. Aguilera being a bad girl. Where? What, what pictures were those? Some um, German magazine, probably. That's a really good question. Where did we get those pictures? Uh, is some pervert on the staff uh, printed oh, them out? Oh, is that her face on someone else's body right here? That must be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, got to be it. No. Was... <laughs> He's like, no! Is, there, is that what we did? <laughs> no. Every time I look at the Christine Aguilera pictures, I, I thought that uh, they were real. No, They, they are real. They are real. All right, so. Steve would know. Who, who put yeah. those pictures up there? Oh, I don't know. It's from Maxim Magazine? It's from Maxim Magazine. It's probably so. like Paris Hilton's body. Right? Well, <laughs> Paris is up over there, I think, underneath the American mess sign. Something. <laughs> why don't we have you know why what? don't we have pictures from the fifth element? That's what Listen, we should I'm have. I'm kinda glad that I don't have anything from the fifth you don't element want... that could go on this wall, actually. <laughs> you do when you're when you're you in do. the little, when you're in that little thing just made up of some like gauze it looked like kind of wrapped around you. Well, I guess if that turns you on, Jaws, man, that hospital thing do you is real think, sexy. Do you think <laughs> in the fifth element when you came out and you were in just that thing that was kind of strips mm -hmm. all around you, yeah, that yeah. that wasn't really hot, that guys weren't watching going, oh. Because <laughs> uh, let me imagine? be the first to inform you a few years later, yeah, it was very hot. <laughs> a few years it was a very later. Very nice costume. And then, then you're <laughs> flying around all over the place. Jumping out windows on top of flying taxi cabs, and nothing came out. Like that looked like an unsecured little outfit you were wearing. Were you glued in there? Well, you know, she's a super being, so yeah. you know, it, was it all taped. keeps together. You, was it duct taped and well, stuff? Well, no, the whole thing was sort of one piece. Uh huh. So it was kind of like a like a bathing suit. Oh, we were kind of like a wet bathing suit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it certainly was. That's like one of the most memorable parts of that movie, though, is you wearing that getup. I know that was a crazy character. That was fun. Yeah, jumping and, off the the building. And uh, then, of course, the uh, Evil Dead. Uh, uh, evil Resident Dead. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Uh, Evil Dead sucks, man. It's Resident Evil. Oh my God, well, you're, you're gonna get a lot of people. <laughs> Evil Dead's kind of cool too. Got to give it that. But There's uh, a lot of Evil Dead fans out there. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Uh, I saw you naked. <laughs> Wait, she was naked in that? I saw. I saw. You. Okay, for a second, you see like it was boobs for a second. For a second. Wow. And then, and then I saw it on on I guess regular TV. Uh, and and like I'm waiting for that part to come, <laughs> and and they cut it out. <laughs> it's kind of like seeing like the TV version of Scarface. Yeah, he's like, this city is a chicken, just <laughs> waiting to right, be right. blocked. <laughs> we did a whole thing on our show about that. The so TV edit, wonderful. The TV I can watch the movies. TV oh. edit over. Oh, you and like that? I love I it. Are you laugh? kidding? They put, it's they so put in, wonderful. They put in scenes that were deleted because they're so violent. So they'll put in scenes that never made the real movie. Like these <laughs> scenes that are now on the DVD, these awful scenes that meant nothing. Yeah, the cutting room floor scenes. Yeah, that I meant to be there. driving and looking for an address. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I've never heard, you know, beep that, uh, you know, replaced with not that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that yeah, was kind of uh, real, too. Some of them, not they, that. they really some reach. Some not a Scarface thing. You know, it's very kind of sophisticated. Not that. Now, I guess, uh, <laughs> Scarface I guess these that. days they, they do uh, two versions sometimes yeah. and have the actor but actually listen, doing a clean version. Listen, that was so genius. The things they pulled out the box for mm -hmm. that, like no one does today. Yeah. I mean, a chicken waiting to be plucked? <laughs> That's genius. Someone I got mean, paid to think of that know, and come up with it. That stuff. And they were in a room going, oh, good one, good I mean, one. I, think I didn't think we were going to get one for that. That's kind of like a cool hobby to like find like all the TV versions, like the funniest TV versions of like the most violent movies because I think those are kind of amazing. Yeah. Like you have these limits 
and you got to do your best with them, you know? Yeah. So you're like a chicken waiting to be plucked. <laughs> you know, <laughs> wonderful. I, I got it. You ever see your own dialogue replaced on TV or something and kind of laugh like, Who, that doesn't even sound like me. <laughs> Well, those things are really fun. I mean, every time I have to do a TV version, you know, we're always kind of like trying to think of like, what can you possibly say? You know, of course, I hadn't seen Scarface, the TV version at that point. So, you know, we were just doing like flickety flock and like, you know, just, you know, oh, did or something, you know, and they're like, no, that sounds too much like it yeah. sounds too much like the bad word. Hey, I got it. I got the T word. Yeah. I don't even know if you can say that on the radio. Tit. Uh, tit. Oh. <laughs> let me let me fill you in on You're something. You're in the world Mila. of satellite. <laughs> let me fill you in on a little something. You're in the world of satellite. Uh, radio. Are we actually on the air right now? This, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Completely on the air. You know what's funny about that? So many guests will ask that exact question. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We will okay. have we, we will have 10, 15 minute conversations and, and people go. So when are we going to go on the air? I know. Yeah. Thank God my mom's not watching. It's like you're on the radio, and all you can think to say is a chicken waiting to be blacked. Uh, I hate to tell you, it doesn't get much better than this. So, so enjoy your time. And uh, if your mom's watching the radio, you might want to have a little talk to her. That's true. That's true. It's kind of early. Are, I still are you, haven't gotten through my coffee yet. So. Are you? Uh, are you generally maybe a potty mouth in regular life, or do you? Well, look, you know, as I fiddle with the pen. Um, oh, you might not. Want, <laughs> you might not want to touch any of those pens. Oh. Uh, <laughs> nah, you want him. Pluck that man. Ooh, she told you. <laughs> I want her to curse. Listen, Give us a curse. Give us a curse. No, 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 no. I can't. You I do can't. it in movies. Listen, I might do it just by accident anyway, so All I right. just try and control Is that what happened, though, when you're out and about? You kind of just throw a pepper it pluck in? Pluck this, pluck that, yeah. pluck you, pluck everything. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a good time. She's got some very lucrative deals she doesn't want to screw up is what... What she's talking about. She shouldn't be on this show. <laughs> I see her. What, uh, what makeup spots are you on? L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal. Yes. And she comes out with her big eyes, big blue eyes. Pluck that. L'Oreal. <laughs> you started out as a model? Um, I started, well, my mom was an actress in Russia when I was growing up back in the 70s. And so was I started like acting. Was that on TV? I was like nine. Back then? Actually, not on TV because, you know, in the 70s, TVs were a little harder to come by. But um, on the big screen, yeah, I would go yeah. to my mom and, and see her, like, doing ADR for movies and stuff. So kind of followed in her footsteps. So I started when I was nine acting and then fell into modeling you know, when I was The weirdest 11. part of that whole answer was that TVs were hard to come by. We just can't Well, it was the rush. No, I, I know. As an American, you just can't understand that you would actually grow up without a TV. Well, mm. I mean, yeah, I guess by the 70s, everyone had TVs in America. Not that way in the motherland. So how would you watch? The, <laughs> but how would you watch TV? Would just one family member somewhere would have it, or, or well, no, we had a TV, right? But yeah, he, but I mean, if, your, mom, like if your mom's doing movies, one percent, that's they probably like had yeah. One kind of so TV. everyone came over to your house to watch the TV. Yeah, kind of thing. Was there American TV back then? Like any shows? Oh, no, why not? Joking. There was hardly Americans in Russia. They didn't like, like anything back then. No, but I understand. We that. go over to Mila's house. They, they have toilet paper and blue jeans. <laughs> I'm talking on the black market. Maybe you get maybe you get a maybe you get a VHS of Dallas or something shipped over. I don't know. Jesus. Back then they didn't want any Western stuff being beamed in. But it was still being. It was all just it like was, you got to think everything it was being wonderful smuggled. here today. <laughs> Sky is blue. God Government loves you. <laughs> that was pretty much all they wanted the people knowing back then. <laughs> this is a, like the oh. most awful thing is that it's so true. Yeah. It's so not funny. And then I'm, like, like a West, Western right uh, information <laughs> stuff started encroaching on. Yeah. And that's when everybody said, I'm leaving. I could drive a cab Plug and make this. some money. <laughs> Plug this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. So when did you uh when oh did you make your God. way here? Yeah, when did you escape? <laughs> <laughs> well, we well, we did actually. We um we uh came over and never went back. <laughs> Did you <laughs> you left when it was still Shh, communist? I'm yeah. still here. <laughs> There's somebody still at the house, like some KGB agent waiting. Where is Mila? <laughs> she said she was going out to get me blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> what the she fell down? What the hell is in her Starbucks, man? Oh my god! You guys been waiting no, twenty but years. No, listen. The craziest thing is. 
Is that you're not too far off? <laughs> what did you have to? You actually like fled? Are you one of those Dude, people that had to go into a wall? Had, my mom had to meet with KGB members. Really? <laughs> Literally like three times before she married my dad. And she had to get interviewed like, so why are you marrying a foreigner? Wow. And foreigner, he's Yugoslavian. Mm. That, like that's... Americans don't even think of that as a no. different nationality. Do you know mm. what I mean? But in Russia, yeah, she had to get interviewed. And then, uh, but the person was really cool because he had a daughter my mom's age. And he would have wanted her to do the same thing, yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. So he was sort of, you know, just going cool by the KGB page, agent? but he let her go. Yeah. Never heard of those. Wow. They I never know, saw those right? The, That's like a movie in the movies. Right there. <laughs> never saw that in the movie. The cool KGB agent. Ah, uh, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saw you swallow some microfilm, but uh, pluck that chicken. <laughs> You'll go. You're losing her mind. I love this. <laughs> She's all right, man. She's all right. <laughs> Check oh her coffee. God. I'm telling you, something's in that take coffee. It. All this racist uh, humor. So uh, ra <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Danny? Danny's He's totally putting down my country. We got a huge. It's no. so funny. I can't. No. It, One of our it's guys. True, is, though. It's so awful. One yeah. of our guys is a huge fan of yours. One? What? What is that Silence. noise? Silence. <laughs> Where is he? You hear that noise? What the hell is that? Uh, well, he's coming to ask you a question. But... Yeah, he's going to be all nervous and everything. Oh. Probably all sweaty, ew. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh. I can't wait to meet him. Hi, Danny. <laughs> Sounds great. Hi, Dan. <laughs> this there is Danny. There you go, Danny. Hi, Danny. Oh, I heard Nathaniel sold me down the river. Nathaniel sold me out today. Why, why, don't oh. you tell, uh, why don't you tell her about you and your mom? No, oh. I don't think we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Danny likes to drink with his mom and then, I don't know. Then say stuff maybe he shouldn't be saying. Inappropriate stuff on camera. It was really, yeah. <laughs> so you're a big fan? I am a huge fan. Absolutely. Favorite favorite yeah. movie? Um, probably Gotta Be Fifth Element. Yeah. Thank you. Gotta be fifth that element. one is Thank really you. good. Thank you. Amy. And you have a question? <laughs> I do? <laughs> do you? Go ahead. I don't know, do an I? interview. Something about the fake language? <laughs> well, I heard that in the fifth element, uh, that fake language got so intense that you could actually hold a conversation. With, uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the director and I, like, would it be able to, like, write back and forth, like, um, you know, I'd be able to ask him questions, like, in the language, and if I was missing a word, I'd just, like, give him a list of vocabulary that I needed for That's, my next wow. letter, and Insane. he would sort of give it back to me, and I would incorporate it, sort of try to incorporate it into my everyday That's life. almost know? as geeky as people speaking Klingon. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> no, it's true, it's true. I get pretty geeky when it comes to, like... Research and and uh, getting prepared for things. I love yeah. it. I love reading and being on the computer. You know, my my really amazing like night for me mm -hmm. is like you know putting music on the computer for hours. And oh, is that what you like, do? Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Like, I had such a great time last night. I, like, put all these jams on my computer. It's like, <laughs> that's, okay. a, that's a pretty tough thing to do with your computer. <laughs> no, 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 with GarageBand. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, oh, you got the Mac. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. And I have Logic. All the, all the artistic and... people have Macs. What, do you have an IBM? I have both. I'm, oh, that's cool. I'm divided. Well, that's I got to cool. play I gotta play games, you know. I got to oh, play my better, games. So you need a Windows computer PC, to play right? the games and stuff. Yeah, you ever that. play... Um, some of the uh, video games you like that? Well, you know, I'm play not, yourself I'm, in one of them. No, not yet, not yet. They're still they still have to come out with the Alice video game. But, um, you know, my brother really loves like all the violent video games. I'm more of a strategic. Who doesn't? Oh, yeah. you like the strategy game? Yeah, I, I I like the strategy. So I would like build up the towns and the reserves, and then he would go out and conquer. <laughs> You know, oh so yeah! Just be like the administrative part, and hey, that's he would a good be idea, like actually. get the glory. Right, right. <laughs> she she yeah, some the people are really up good the army and at those games where you got to build up a civilization. Yeah, I love that. And some that. people are good at building the civilization and keeping the economy going and keeping the trains running on time. Well, Sim City man. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I've got it under control. My budget is great. <laughs> you hate the fires though in that. Like every two seconds, oh, something's catching on fire. Well, you gotta create water towers, dude. 
Is that what it is? Well, they see, don't I'm have terrible. Water, man. No schools for me. No, anything. <laughs> I rule with an iron fist. Everyone gets all pissed. No, unlike uh, the old Soviet Union, pretty much is the way I run things. And people do the same thing. They leave. <laughs> I got a barren wasteland, and everybody's going to greener pastures on some other person's game. They play. They're on Mila's. They're going. No, it's great. She's a huge movie star. She's excited when her budget's okay in her video in the video game. <laughs> Look, I got a surplus. It's like all these scripts are piling up. Screw that. Oh, I gotta, God, I gotta feed my people. It's so oh, true. I gotta feed them. Even, oh, oh, really? You're shirking your responsibilities? Well, a bit. It's been kind of crazy busy and stuff, so sometimes, you know, I'll just go into SimWorld. Ah, <laughs> ah. Let's say hi to Lisa the Montreal. perfect world. <laughs> Lisa, what's up? Hi. Good morning, oh, my God. Hi, Lisa. I'm so hi, sorry Jimmy. for making a fool of myself. Judy. Hi, oh, Jimmy. Well, I didn't hear you oh, said hi, Sudan. Like, How are you? I'm Mila. Good. Listen, I wanted to say, Mila, I love you so much in The Fifth Element. Thank I you. I so obsessed with the movie. I even have the tattoo. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. It looks really good, actually. Thank you. Um, that's about oh, it. Thanks security. Lot, guys. Oh, awesome. Can you send a picture of yourself to my website, MilaJ.com? Yes, I can. Actually, That'd I'm on MySpace, awesome. so I'll, Mila I'll J. send you my com? MySpace. Yeah, let's go, to, let's go to the website. Oh, on MySpace? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You got a MySpace? Bye. Yeah. You do? Well, you know, just started out, and I have a clothing line with my with my really close friend, Carmen Hawk. It's got called the Got that Fifth Hawk. Element uh, outfit on your clothing line? <laughs> no. It's called the Ovovich Hawk. Oh, well, I've got it underneath my sweater. Uh oh, she's here. We go. Off. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, like look at that. Glasses, Very nice. And, yes. And things like that. Um. Look at you branching out. There you go. Diversifying. Yeah, so so uh <clears throat> so yeah, we've we've been doing a little bit more conservative than Lilu, but you Let, know, yeah. just as cool. Let, let's <laughs> say hi to Brian in Nevada. Brian, what's up? Hey yo. Uh, hi Brian. Mila, I love your movies. I particularly you. loved you in uh the uh Messenger. I Thank thought you, you just were extremely good at that is there going to be any more resident movies coming out well we start filming uh number three in may so <clears throat> oh i think yeah. you're just you're just you're just awesome and you managed to pull off every single character you portray oh thank you so much brian thank okay. you okay hey, and aunt please on ban tugboat bry he didn't mean to get you on your bad side all right i'll unban him all right we'll deal with that in a little Jeez. while fuzzy from whack bag what's up oh, fuzzy i ban Yo, people occasionally up, from i can't believe sites. i got lilu dallas and my my two favorite boys oh the thank you yeah we look great awesome. man and we're getting along <laughs> this is fun. crazy <laughs> we're all getting along she seems to be extremely happy to be there because I, I go i'm having a great time i go right to sixth grade mentality when a pretty girl comes in <laughs> i sit there and like i keep my head down Yes, yeah, I get, I get all light, but you're very uh, fun. Sixth grade too. You're, I know. It's like, like yeah, you're sixth grade too. Isn't it great to be immature? We we it, and we're doing great. I'm, I'm ready to look at her and ask what kind of ice cream she likes. <laughs> we finally admitted it too, because we had so many hot girls coming through here, and we just we just can't talk to the hot ones. Really? It's what so do you guys hard. do? But, it's so awkward. But as soon as we finally admitted it to all our <laughs> listeners, it, it's gotten a lot easier. So we hear multiple <laughs> pounding on <laughs> Oh, hi, Christina. Oh. <laughs> What's your motivation? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to... Uh, all right, Fuzzy, you got a question? Yeah, I just want to... We only to got a couple more minutes with her. My, my wife and I absolutely adore her. Oh, because thank she's you. Just beautiful, elegant... Yeah, well, I'm all about you. Just want to let you know we're going to name our first girl after you. You're the best. Wow, thank you. Thank you Bye, so man. much. Don't take this interview as an example of my normal sophistication levels. <laughs> <laughs> You're multifaceted. Hey, uh, you got a question, though, Fuzzy, or no? No, I'm all set. I love you. Oh, guys. thank you, Fuzzy. Right. Thanks, guys. I think we have time for one more call, and we got to let her go. Kent, what's up? Hey, what's up, Mila? What's How's up, Kent? How's it going? Good. Thank you. Um, Wow, that guy totally took my question about Resident Evil. But I'm wondering who's, who's uh, attached to direct? This um, uh, this guy um, named uh, Peter Mahoney. Okay, cool, cool. And he's uh, he's really wonderful. He's a British director, and uh, he's he's really great. He's going to do a good job, and Paul Anderson's going to be producing it too and stuff. Those movies oh, end. Great. Those sounds movies great. end really well for sequels, by the way. When that first one ended, and you just come out in the street, and everything is just. 
Well, it's cool because um, destroyed. You know, the world in the video game doesn't really end; it just yeah, keeps going. Yeah. So it's like every movie gets harder and harder, like a video game. You must have sense, to you know? work out a bit before those roles, because it seems like you really get your ass kicked. Well, yeah, you know, I definitely train a lot for these kind sim of training or real training. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> wouldn't that just be great if like my sim could do it for me? That would be so wonderful, <laughs> and get points too. Because yeah. my problem in sim world is that I just make them work so hard because I'm the Perfect. I like don't be perfect, <laughs> and they always have to be cancers be because that's like really middle of the road. You know, they're just clean enough, just nice enough, just good enough personality. Yeah, and then they take over. <laughs> the middlemen take over. <laughs> Got to figure that out. Well, oh. no, because and then my game is always like, ooh, all uh, no play makes you know Angie like a really. Girl, yeah, and then you got to give them things to A's do. And stuff, but they're but she doing well. Enough. They're emotionally kind of reflect- screwed up, but they're doing well and keeping excelling. the uh, budget. They are right. excelling, man. All right, you know, I'm, I'm, we're getting the wrap I up. know you're you're on a, a whirlwind tour here, and you got to go. Well, but you thank you so much for coming so in. Much. You were great. Are we promoting anything today? Oh, you, oh, yeah. oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, <laughs> I almost made you forgot. <laughs> Ultraviolet, Ultraviolet, the new movie. It's awesome. It's crazy. It's just ill. Craziest stunts ever. That I've ever done. Um, and it comes out March 3rd. So. March 3rd. Yeah, please. Ultraviolet. Yes. Mila Jovovich, yeah, thank you thank so much, you. man. You're great. Thanks, yeah, guys. we had a lot of fun with you. Thank that you so awesome. much. We'll Come continue on. in just a bit. Get us out of your dirt. I hate to admit it, but I think we're growing up a little bit. Ew. The no, boys are growing up just a little bit. See what happens when you're nice to guests? You get bigger and better guests. <laughs> See, this is this We should have learned pattern. this lesson years ago. I know. Here's the pattern I've been noticing. <laughs> We've had guests come in. We're treating them nicely. They are having a really good time, and we're having a really good time, and apparently the listeners are enjoying it. Yeah, so we get good radio out of it, which is the most important thing. So then after that, they bring... Another good guest. Right. And, and if the same thing happens, it happens again. Why didn't we see this for 10 years, Ophi? Why did we have a guest come in, berate them, treat them like shit, spit on them, chase them out, and wonder why we couldn't get another guest? And slam the door and stay out. And stay out. And then we would laugh and laugh and laugh. and Because it was funny. And then for weeks, we'd like, uh, hey, here's our celebrity guest phone. <laughs> no one would come uh, by. We, Screech is stopping by. <laughs> right. And uh, Steve the Whistler. Yeah, great. And, I, and Kathy Griffin. There's a big get. Great. I got to tell you, Anthony, you just amaze me when you pull these off. It's like, oh. You, oh, you're able to talk. I, I'm, I'm a speechless, fucking worthless nothing. We all know that. <laughs> just sit there. All I'm thinking, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. You can talk to anybody. It's amazing to watch. Thank you, Jim. And be funny and interesting. I can't. Ant's doing the driving. It's amazing to watch. Ant's doing the driving, and I got the map out. Uh, Jimmy, (laughs) I got the map out. We got to take a right right here. Right now, go! But I'm curled up in the backseat car sick. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Growing up with a face full of acne and the afro I had, I better have been able to talk. Dude, it's amazing (laughs) how. I was never getting laid. (laughs) Even Ozzy, who I know everything about, I couldn't talk to. And her, I know nothing about. I couldn't talk to, and you with anybody yeah. can just be interesting. Thank it's really, you, Jimmy. It was great to watch, man. That was a lot of fun, and <laughs> I, you know, I think back back to the old days when these guests would come in and they are they're happy to be here. Mm-hmm. They've done nothing wrong to us, and we just kill them. We just kill them for no Why? reason. Why? And it makes for fun radio, and everyone gets on the message boards afterwards and said, "Ah, oh, that was hilarious." Yeah. And then we then we uh, have to pay for that for like a year. Yeah. Now. I like, know, the, I like the new approach. I got to be honest. You get because their people are with them, so they see it, and then they they talk to their people when they leave, and and they had a good time. No, it was cool. And more people come. She in. came in. The pal talk people saw this. Uh, she came in. All the publicists came marching in, and managers. She had how many people with her? Five or six. Five people. Yeah. Five people yeah. with, with yeah. her, just following her around, and most of them piled into the studio because we do have a bad reputation. We have an awful reputation. And that's when I said, you know, ah, the publicists. And she was cool. She kind of waved them off. Yeah. Waved them off, and we and it was a great 15, 20 minutes. I I really enjoyed my time with One her. One false move, and they would have just ripped her out of here and. 
Goodbye. Right. Made some phone calls and we'd have been back to uh See, and I don't want to conf- I don't want to confuse the issue. If someone comes in and they're just a raging ass, no problem. We'll rip their heads off. Hey, it happens. No fucking problem. But I guess what we're trying to get away from is just ripping off people's heads that we probably would have been friends with. The right off the bat bashing <laughs> right. seems to have <laughs> done badly for us. So we're trying to stay away from that. I'd rather have someone like her where all of a sudden she's having so much fun she actually fell out of her chair and was on yeah. the floor. We He's got great. video that'll be up on opianthony.com later today. That was very, very cool. And we uh, we got our pictures uh, taken with her. Mm. I got a photo with her, and I'm looking at it, and I smiled, and I tried to be nice, and I'm looking at her. Like, she, she's obviously very tired. She just woke up. Yeah. And it is amazing what genetics are. I mean, just to stand there and look powerful and beautiful, yeah. and I'm a grown man who makes my living in front of people, and I'm a slumped fat pig. <laughs> I, I, I say this from time to time. I discovered this when I first went down to South Beach. There are people out there that just make you feel like a genetic disaster. Mm. She makes you feel like a genetic disaster. Yeah, what idiots are we to take pictures next to her? I didn't even put... Like, let's just put... Yeah, let's put us next yeah. to her and... Yeah. Eh. It's like You'll... taking dog shit and throwing it in a Lamborghini. All right, get a shot. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see my picture later. I have a hoodie on, and I just I just put my hands in my pocket. I didn't even try. I'm like, hey, just take this picture. I'm not even going to attempt to <laughs> try to look good. <laughs> you just, oh, just kind of leaned in like, look, we all know I'm not fucking her. All right, click. <laughs> right. I put my arm around her. Hi. <laughs> I don't say a word during the interview, little fat-faced coward. <laughs> Just sit here. Go ahead, guys. Do the heavy lifting. I'll pick up a check, too. Let's say hi to Dan in Philly. Dan, what's up? Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey. Just want to compliment the guests you guys are getting. The quality is definitely going up. And uh, I think Mila was good, but I think Kevin Smith yesterday was just unbelievable. It was amazing. It was four great. Hours. Kevin I mean, Smith just... gave us four hours of great yeah. radio yesterday. We're thinking about rerunning that uh, mm-hmm. Kevin Smith show over the weekend, by the way. Uh, and then she was great today, and uh, she ain't, she's not going to do Howie. 